Oh, uh, so. But there you go. Yeah, you I was that for you. Hey, is that a record? Doing two times the same day? <laughs> I, uh, it's not happened since I've been here. I'll say that much. Very well done there. Um, yeah, feeling good. Uh, got a bit of coast, a bit of club. Great, feeling great. Yeah, I mean, you have done an amazing job tonight. Back-to-back -back wins. You have a day off tomorrow, I believe, but then NIP on Sunday. Do you feel confident you can get those last two points to confirm yourself over in the Copa Elite Six? Because NIP are not an easy opponent, and there's still the potential that Black Dragons can pick up some more points. Yeah, so the focus for today was to acquire confidence and to be strong and dominant. Uh, we were a bit shaky, I think, in the first six games. Uh, it was a rocky start for us. Uh, but I think now it's the turning point that we're going to get uh, the objective that we want. We want to get to the major, and we're going to win against, against the IP uh, on I, I really like it, because when we spoke to FaZe uh, last game, Cameraman was saying we take it game by game, we focus, and we don't really look at the bigger picture, but... It's clear that you guys, as well as taking it game by game, you know where you almost belong. Do you feel confident that, you know, even though you had maybe a rocky start this stage, you can go to the major, you can put up a big performance? Yes. Uh, I think that the pressure was always on us uh, during this stage, uh, mainly because the top five teams yeah, were so far ahead, ahead and, and they were playing very confidently. So it's a tough game. And on the league six, the pressure is going to be 50 50. That's a much different game. Look, I, I do want to talk about that game a little bit, though, because Santos, we've heard them mention a few times that when they come up against bigger teams like yourself, they don't feel as much pressure. They feel a little bit more confident and like they can get away with a bit more. Do you feel like, you know, the reasons they were swinging out wide, playing very aggressively at times, was that a big part of it? And how do you kind of counteract a squad that at times feels like, well, we may as well just go for it? Um, uh, when playing uh, against teams like Santos, uh, on the attacks, they like to play very aggressive. They like to uh, play a similar style that we used to play when we were back in T1. Uh, we know very much this, this type of uh, play style, so it's basically a guessing game of the possibilities that they do uh, based on the information ah, we have on the round. So it was basically a guessing game for us. Uh, we, we, got, uh, we read them by the book and we got the <laughs> open kills that we needed. Well, very impressive to see you were able to stay two steps ahead. We're not going to see you tomorrow, but hopefully for your sake, We've seen you on Sunday when you can confirm that Copa Elite 6 placement. Bodega, thanks once again for joining us.